Hi everyone, it's Henry from Volantware, and in this video we're going to review the Yonex Nano Flare 800. We're looking at the 3U or 88 gram version of the racket with the G5 or smallest grip size strung with Yonex Nano G98 at 28 pounds. Much like its older brother, the Nano Flare 700, its key technical specs include being made from a highly strong yet elastic carbon fibre called M40X, which improves repulsion and stability. A super thin frame, a frame that's designed to act like a trampoline when contacting the shuttle to improve power generation, and a new grommet pattern. Further technical information can be found on the Yonix website. So here's how we tested it. We tested drives, defending from net shots, lifts from drop shots and defending smashes, playing clears, playing drop shots, and smashes. So we have the Nano Flare 800. Henry, what did you think about the racket? I actually really like this one. Um, I think when I swing, it's really smooth. It cuts through the air like a Japanese samurai sword. It's really nice. Um, it can generate a lot of power despite being a headlight racket as well. So yeah, well, those are the two key things that I like about it. How about you, Jeff? Yeah, I really like this racket as well. It's got this soft feeling when I strike a shuttle and I've got just like a really nice feel and it's got a really large sweet spot which is very forgiving in itself and lastly there's some flexibility because there's a ultra slim shaft so there's some flexibility there so it just gives it that softer kind of feeling and with the head lightness it's not too I don't feel it's too light and it just allows you to play kind of a, like an all-round game where you can drive you can attack you can defend without too many issues how about what you see as a disadvantage for this racket yeah, look, I, I'd be a little worried because of the slim shaft that um, it could break easily. So I'd be concerned if I was a beginner and you know, getting into potential racket clashes. But I do know that with the newer material, it is a bit more dense, so it shouldn't um, break too easily. But yeah, that's, that's probably one of my concerns with it. And yeah, the other thing is just I don't get a good sense of feel of the head when I'm playing overhead shots um, compared to your more even balanced or head heavy rackets. How about you, Jeff? Yeah, look, I would prefer it to be a little bit more head heavy in this aspect, just so I can generate power a little bit more easier. It's not like it's really difficult to generate power, but I feel a little bit more head heaviness would be beneficial. So Henry, now to our ratings. What would you rate it for feeling and handling? Yeah, look, I really like the feeling and handling of this racket. So I would probably give it an eight out of 10. Um, just generally speaking, yeah, it swings really well. When I first hold it, I, I do do really like it. I just feel that, yeah, most of the weight is distributed sort of to the handle and it's not really a preference of mine. So eight out of 10, still a very respectable score. What about you, Jeff? I really like the feel of this racket and especially the way it does swing through the air and the aerodynamics around it. I'm giving it a nine out of 10. And in terms of the actual control, I think that converts to the feeling of the shuttle I have with the soft kind of feeling, the flexible shaft. I'm giving it 9 out of 10 because when I'm playing with it, I really do feel like I've got really exceptional touch and control when I'm playing. Yeah, I agree with the, with the control entirely. The only the downfall for this, I would say for me personally, is, is the overheads where I just feel a little bit less control. So I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I still think it's a very good racket for control. And how about for power? How would you rate it for power? Look, surprisingly being a headlight racket, I when I first picked up this racket, I was I was thinking, no, nah, this is not gonna this is not gonna produce much power at all. But I'd give this a nine out of ten. I think you can produce quite a large amount of power with this racket despite being headlight. What do you think, Jeff? Yeah, I'm close to that. I'm giving it an eight out of ten for power. Look, like I said before, it would be nice for it to be a little bit more head heavy, but in general it is generating quite like good power and quite easy power. Now in terms of the speed of the racket head because it is on the lighter side, I find that the speed of the racket and in defensive movements, in driving and front court and anything really fast, I feel it's really maneuverable and there's no issues in terms of the way it moves to the air. So I think for speed, it's nine out of 10 for me. Yeah, I think I have a similar sort of 
uh, reasoning for it, and I'd give it a nine out of ten. Uh, it's yeah, very very good for um, just maneuverability and just reacting to you know, big smashes and things like that. And finally, the way it looks. I actually really like the way it looks. I do like the colors of it. I like the matte finish on it. For that reason, I'm giving it nine out of ten for aesthetics. I'm also a sucker for matte, and I do like red, yellow, and black as a combination. So uh, it's almost almost perfect for me as far as aesthetic is, is aesthetics are concerned. So I'd give it a nine and a half out of ten. So overall, Henry, what would you say your general comments are for the racket, and who do you think it's best for? Well, I think this racket's designed for all levels of players um, and all types of players as well. I mean, with the preference towards doubles, um, I, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend it for most players with it, as long as it's within budget. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're for the people that actually really like head heavy rackets, then there's probably a bit of a concern there. It's definitely not for you guys, uh, but otherwise, generally for most players, I'd recommend this racket. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a really all round racket and I'd honestly be happy myself using it at for anything, for singles, doubles, anything that I play. And so I think it does tick all the boxes. It is a very good racket. And like Henry said, if a head heavy racket is what you're really looking for, potentially it might not be for you, but I think generally it is very solid in all aspects. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you found value in this video, please like it, share it and follow us for more. And tune in for all of our future racket reviews. Nano Flare 800. <laughs>